Breakout players, it's always a term that uh, we hear this time of year in the offseason looking forward to the next college football season. And with spring practice, who's going to step in as maybe a guy that's been on campus for a couple of years but needs to step up, fill a void, or a hot shot, a uh, four- or five-star that's uh, hitting campus for the first time. we got Chris Swanson on the line from USC 247 Sports. So I always love to throw this one out, Chris, in regards to looking forward for this particular football team Um uh, Who's the next wave of stars? Whether that's when you talk impact player or breakout player, I think of, th is this either going to be a guy that we know hardly anything about? He's basically played maybe special teams or been a third teamer, but he needs to step up. Or is it a guy that's been a good player, maybe had one season under his belt and could be a tremendous all-conference type player? So, so who are those guys you're looking out for both sides of the ball? Yeah, I'm going to give you a few names and their names that, you know, USC fans might think, well, these guys have already broken out and they're already stars, but they're not. And, you know, if you're looking at it in a, in a fair sense, you know, if you're looking at it objectively, they haven't hit the level that they're supposed to yet, but I think they've shown something that, uh, you know, that the future is bright there. Um, so on offense, I'm going to say Amon Ross St. Brown. A lot of people will say, hey, you know, that guy has been good for two years. Yeah, but he wasn't the best receiver USC had, and he kind of disappeared at times when Michael Pittman, it was the Michael Pittman show, basically, most of the time last season and even the season before that. Um, I'm picking him because I think that I like Tyler Vons a lot. I think that he, the Tyler Vons, though, is the guy that you can find on any roster, and he's pretty much a typical USC receiver. A lot of people bring up Drake London. I like him, too. I don't think he's Amon Ross St. Brown. I think that that's the next receiver where it's like, hey, this guy's going to get the numbers for people are impressed with him and talking about him as, you know, all Pac-12 and all that. I expect him to be USC's leading receiver in the air raid, and that means he should have some pretty giant numbers. Um, outside of him, I'd also look at Chris Steele uh, at cornerback. Uh, a lot of people, you know, liked what Chris Steele did last year. I thought he, he showed some very good things um, and, and some spots, but there's room for growth. The secondary got torn up a little bit last year. Uh, especially when they were playing better teams, you know, the more high-end teams. So, you know, his second year, right, I expect him to to really kind of be a lockdown corner, be one of the better cornerbacks in the Pac-12. I also look at Talanoa Hufunga uh, at safety, who a lot of people will again say, hey, that, that guy's a star. I've heard a lot of big things about him. I think he's almost there. Um, I don't think he's necessarily the physical specimen that you want at safety in terms of he's not he's not like a, uh, a TJ McDonald type or a Taylor Mays. He's not that. But he seems to always make plays and be around the ball. And I think that if he jumps up another level, that there's a chance the secondary could improve a lot, which needs to happen if USC is going to be better than a five-loss team this year. Ufunga was definitely the guy when I watched, and I watched six or seven games a year, I watched the big games that it was like just flashed as this guy could be a superstar. You know, this yeah. guy just made an incredible play. He just ran sideline to sideline to yeah. track somebody down or break up a pass, made the big interception to save the Utah game, that that sort of thing. Or the first one of the games, uh, I think it was the Utah game that he saved uh, with an interception. And maybe even Fresno State uh, made some big games. Uh, Chris Steele, of course, was a huge, enormous national recruit who, uh, again, 35 tackles last year, but few disruptive plays, had five passes defense, but could become a major, major star in the college football ranks.